Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Planet Crafter. We are on Planet Humble and a couple of bits and pieces have changed in between episodes. We are up to 923 GTI, we are 60% of mammals and we are progressing fairly well. I've also upgraded all of our storages so we'll take a little tour around the base and have a look at what we've done. But in this episode I'm hoping to get to mammals and I'm going to be doing a lot of refining, making sure the system works, making sure that our rod production is working properly because right now it isn't really and upscale our heat and pressure so there's a lot to do let's get stuck in all right so the outside of the base has changed a bit i have extra farms and i've also planted the cocoa and wheat so that's cool i still haven't broken down this box i'm going to use this iron we've got to expand this platform anyway coming up to our power room i've added a few more gas extractors uh, i've got three methane i've got two doing nitrogen now still one doing oxygen no big need for it and in here we have a desk that tells us how much power we've got we have the eight fusion generators but i've managed to find a few more energy cells so we have a lot of power uh, a lot of power like way more than i think i'm going to need for the rest of the game so i think what i may do this is going to be enough i'm just going to sell any future energy fuses that i find the base has also changed a little bit we'll take a walk around this so we've got our little crafting area over here with our advanced crafting station our t2 crafting station on this side we have our control room and this is all sort of pre-decoration i did take the advice of the person in my comments who said put up a display case here it is and uh, the effigies are floating not sure if they were supposed to do that anyway we head down in this direction and we'll turn this way, I went and spent a lot of Terra Tokens on the 3x3 with the dome. This was the most expensive item. 25,000 Terra Tokens. I did do a couple of portal wrecks, so I had some tokens available. But this will be sort of a lounge uh, chill area. And straight across from that is our storage, which has all been upgraded. And I think things have been filling up quite nicely. Yep, everything is done. I've still got to set all the watercraft is to do what they need to do and i have a little area at the back here which will be for the kitchen and then through here is will be my personal quarters now i've got personal stuff in here so fuses and clothes and goodies i've even found a trade rocket multiplier fuse and this door then goes out to the farming area and then we continue and this ladder takes us upstairs where we have our incubators our recycler there's a door out onto what will be patio and then over here we've got our phytos we have our lavas uh, a spare one that i'm using for stuff i don't have space for although i'm sure i have space for the lerma flower seed container got lots of those and then all the crafting stuff that we need algae the, the farm stuff and honey and i have started making tier one animal feed because it's actually used in tier two but it'll be useful until we get tier two I'll stick my loma away tree seeds in here and i picked up a few really nice ones i like the lilias they make a really nice forest that you can actually walk around uh, that doesn't block you and i found some prune trees we have a container of bees uh, all our butterflies fish eggs frog eggs i have picked up some legus frog eggs from the wrecks and silkworms i only have one i'm going to need to make more and then this i can't remember what i plan to do with this but it will be something anyway so that's pretty much the base if we go upstairs from here it's just the the bio lab which i may do something with i'm not sure yet yeah maybe expand it or or something if we come down the stairs from the lab and we go around the corner uh we have our aquarium tier two and if we go out the door this is where i put my vehicle station and i may do something with a portal generator around here i'm not sure if it's going to be here or somewhere else but i like this kind of feeling it is pretty cool these are my water collectors and around the corner are my algae generators i have uh, two of these ecosystems one over there and one on that side and now the trees have changed i'm pretty sure they were the white trees oh well yep and then i've got lots of cleaning up to do uh all the old stuff i need to move the nuclear reactors somewhere else i'll make a, a platform or something to put them on somewhere else and all of the old stuff still needs to come down but I'm not really that stressed about it. What I'm more stressed about is making sure that we actually have this system working properly. And for that, I'm going to need some storages. 
specifically for the uranium iridium super alloy and osmium osmium not so much because the osmium rods are actually being made in the osmium area i'm not really having a problem with it at the moment well that is growing slowly so let me go get some platforms and some storages all right so this is going to be a bit of a simple setup um yeah that's going to cut in so i will not put it there i will let's start putting them right over here all right there are four i will set these this one to demand uranium and rename it to uranium this one will demand iridium and rename to iridium just like that this one will be super alloy and will demand super alloy now i uh, i've rethought the osmium because i don't really want this osmium to work yeah i, I don't really want them to to be making osmium rods here so i'm gonna store aluminium here because we have quite a lot of it and at least there will be a store that will allow us to make the super alloy rods so that's done and that means now that there will always be a storage coming from this location uh, i'll put another one in for future planning this is going to okay it is already supplying everything strange that it's not emptying it out that's a bit silly i didn't want it to demand the rods i want the ores in here right that should fix it there we go and that means that i can now set this to basically accept everything so once these boxes are full there will be enough material here for these to work and this has a lower priority so these will fill up first there will always be a supply for the rods and then the leftovers can come into here so we're going to add uranium iridium super alloy and aluminum and it will automatically empty once it fills up that is spot on perfect how are we doing here good this emptied out this is i think i need more drones okay this is all working and with any luck we are going to get all of these now i don't get to, i don't get too many of the cosmic courts so to or to intentionally set up a auto crafter to make uh osmium rods here is just silly so i'm not going to do that so that's gone and i can put that somewhere else if i need to all right and these are they're working and once the the containers inside the base are full what i may do is set these to a higher priority or set those containers for the rods as to a higher priority and then ship whatever overflow we have from the rods to a trade rocket so we can make more terror tokens so that part works i think i hope all right now back downstairs i um think i've unlocked things that i was looking for so yeah we've we've got to get to the animal shelter which is at 1.25 ttr so we are approaching that everything else here is done over here we've done t1 animal food ah okay so lerma seeds are done the next is at 22 tons and that's common lava so we'll be able to craft the common lava because some of the mutagen recipes actually need common lava so if we go back into the bio lab the tier 2 mutagen needs common lava and t1 animal food needs common lava and t2 animal food needs t1 but it also needs the rare lava so we'll have to manufacture those as well and that'll be a scaling up operation obviously you know getting everything filled up puts a massive strain on the whole system because you're constantly having to make bacteria samples because all of the other mutagens actually use bacteria in some way or other so as soon as you use one of these there's a whole chain of events that happen starting from getting algae and water and it does get fairly busy when that happens but once it's full then things are pretty quiet so it's not so bad but i do need to get a second drone port down so i think i'm going to do that now and i was told that i could put uh, more than 25 drones into a drone port and the ones that aren't working just sort of hover over the top no i don't like that i want to have a home for all of my drones so uh it, they hold 25 i will do 25 per drone port and honestly at this stage the drone port's not even that expensive but i do have to make a fusion cell and i am not making them in bulk yet not quite ready for it so we'll just do that oh, what happened to those oh, oh, oh. stop yeah, so I, I did put in chests for all the different types of pulsars because I was getting quite a few. So I've got a fair bit of pulsar quartz, solar, I've got a few, quasar, magnetar, blazar. So I, I have a few. I could do all the outstanding upgrades, like my torch, for instance, which needs two solar. Pop in here, torch tier three. Boom. I have a torch tier three now. And there are a whole bunch of others. 
So the T4 XO, the T3 pinning, and the T3 deconstruction. They all use those quartzes. All right, where was I? I think I still need to pick up some circuit boards. And I have everything. Let's see. How are we going to do this? Uh, they're going to they're gonna clip into one another. And that looks about centered. Yep, that's pretty good. So cool. Now I can go make some more of these. And the last piece is the rocket engines. And that will allow me to do another 10 drones. And there we go. We have another 10. Good. So that means we now have 35. That'll keep things moving a little bit faster. Another thing I did do. Now if you look at the map and we zoom out, there is super alloy down at the bottom of the cliffs, way in the south. So I have put two tier three ore extractors over there. You can see them. And they are just getting super alloy and sending it back to base. Uh, it's a bit of a long way and it puts a load on the drones, but I needed the extra super alloy. We just were not getting enough from the uranonite because we do actually at this stage use a lot of super alloys. If you have a look at the recipes, there's one in the auto crafters. The T2 aquarium uses it. Obviously the drone stations use and the T3 ore extractors use it. And most of all, the T5 drills, which I'm going to need to start doing very shortly. Right now, though, I think it's time uh, we started putting a kitchen in. So I'm going to get the kitchen, which I unlocked in the previous episode. If I can find it, there it is right at the bottom. And we're going to put that right in the corner over there. That looks good. I can look outside while we're cooking. Anyway, this has then unlocked stuff for us. We have the ability to make chocolate and flour. Now, it wasn't available, I don't think, in the auto crafters before I put that Yeah. It I don't think you were able to craft it before I put the, the kitchen in. I could be wrong on that though. This is where I've set up to store the, the chocolate and the flour. I have containers full of cocoa and wheat right here. So a couple of auto crafters in here to make flour and chocolate. So let's put them right next to the kitchen. Oh bugger. Can you imagine it won't fit in? Well that's annoying and it won't fit there either. It's just not fitting anywhere. I wonder if I can move this over. Let's see how far I can shift this. It, no, it doesn't look like I can go any further than I had it. So let's maybe do this then. We'll put it over there. Okay. Well, that gives us a bit of extra space. Then I'll do these in the corner. This one will be set to make chocolate and it will supply chocolate. It's a strange thing. I can't seem to supply chocolate. Am I missing it? That's weird. Oh, man. I don't know if it was there before but uh, it's there now so that will be the the chocolate being supplied and then this will be the flour so we'll make the flour and then supply flour there we go okay that also just appeared so i think you have to actually make them before you can set them to supply cool and then this will be the demand and demand flour there we go good we've got that process running all right, I haven't increased the heat and pressure for absolute ages, so maybe it's time to do that. We have access to the tier fives, so let's see how I can do this. So with any luck, we can do, we can take enough for four of them. All right, I'm going to use my vehicle to take this stuff up. So I have enough in here for four of the heaters. So we'll drop all of that in, and I could maybe take a few more up. All right, well, that is enough for eight. Let's see if we can fit them in. Well, we fitted them in. That's eight drills, uh, eight drills and four heaters. I think I can fit what I need in for four heaters. It'll be eight in total of each. Nice. Well, I do think that I have everything on me. So let's go out to our heat and pressure area. And this place has been really badly neglected. So I'm glad I'm finally going to get it done. All right. Uh, that's what we have currently. Those are tier fours and there's four of each. Not good. So uh, over here, this is where I am going to just stick with the tier fives. These machines are absolutely enormous. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's four of them. And I'm going to have to take these old ones down. And maybe I can fit one more. I think I only need one more. Yep, right there. Now... Do these reach all of them? That one appears to reach all of them. Good. And so does that. So that'll be a big boost. Now I just need to get the stuff for the drills. All right, so it's night time, so it's difficult to see what the heck is going on here. But there is a, there's our first tier five drill. 
Man, that thing is big. And and I'll break these down, make a bit of space for the next one. And then I can get rid of the last two tier fours and then start trying to figure out how I'm going to fit eight of these within range. Right, I got five of them in. That's six, seven, and eight. I just need to check if they are. Oh, wow, it's really loud. I have to check that they're all in range. Yep, yep. Everything looks good. So that should give us a good boost on our terraformation. It does look like it is moving a bit faster now. Much better. That looks much better. All right, cool. Heading back then. All right, and we are home. Oh, and I should probably empty out the, the stuff that I don't need. And maybe I should have a catch-all box over here as well. Might not be a bad idea. Hmm, I'll get that set up. All right, let's go and have a look. Ooh, hello. Oh, they went and fetched things out of my drop box. Nice. Everything looks like it's working well here. That's full. That's got some stuff in it. That's sort of there. Yep. These are working now. That's good to hear. Awesome. Things are going well. The boxes are empty, which is exactly what I want to see. And I could maybe up the production a bit. For this to work, I'd need either lots of production fuses in the cave where the mines are or another mine. And I think another mine might be better. But let's go and see if we got chocolate. Oh, look at that. We got chocolate. Now, the recipes are quite expensive. If you go and have a look, chocolate uses six cocoa. Flour uses six wheat. And the croissant uses three flour, which is basically 18 wheat. I, I, as you can see, it's really expensive. But there are other foods that you can craft in here. The, the croissant just increases your health by 75. The cookie is better at 90, but it also increases your speed for a small period. And it's actually quite an impressive increase in speed. You can also trade them for nine terra tokens. A birthday cake is just a birthday cake. I don't think it has any other benefits other than just being a birthday cake. Uh, honey cooked beans reduces your thirst. So you don't need water for, you, you need less water for a while. And then your fish soup reduces your oxygen consumption. So that's really helpful now if you're having to spend a lot of time underwater for whatever reason. But basically that's it. I mean, we don't really need much more. I could put an auto craft in here, but I don't think I can actually auto craft any of these. Maybe I can actually. Let's pop down an auto crafter over here. Let's have a look at what we can make. So we can make the cookies and those are nine terra tokens, but boy, that's going to take a while. I'd need to increase my, my wheat and cocoa farm by a massive amount, but it can be done. So why not? I just won't send them to a storage. It'll, they'll just store up the eight slots in this auto crafter. Well, that's good. Now, speaking of that, let's have a look at what we can sell. So your pulsars give you 25 terra tokens each. That's pretty good. Fabric gives eight. Cookies give nine. Interesting. The rods uh, vary. Uranium eight, iridium and super alloy six and osmium also six. 13 from rocket engine, 6 from bacteria, 80 from fusion energy cells. Now, there's quite a production line, but that's not a bad one to, to keep sending away. 25 from circuit boards, 3 pulsars to make one of these, and all the other stuff that you're going to put in is only going to net you an extra 5. So it might be better just to make the pulsars instead of going to the extra effort to make the fusion energy cell because these will just produce faster. Yeah, anyway, um, I'll get there. I'm not in a hurry for it. I mean, I have 43,000 and I could probably buy a few more things. I'm not going to just yet, but um, I will. And I still need to finish my base and do the decorating and make it look all nice and pretty. But there you go. There's the increases on our heat and pressure increasing a massive amount. Now I need to do a little bit more work on oxygen and maybe a bit of biomass. So probably looking at T3 tree spreaders. Yeah, I think I have four of them up where I put the fuses. So I've got space for another four. And I also have some really cool tree seeds that I went and found. And I definitely want to use them. They're all 1200. Uh, I could use the blue ones, but I think I may use them for decorating in another area. Ah, oh, what the heck. I'll, I'll take one. And let's see what we're going to need. Now, I can right click it. I've got the pinning chip so I can see what is needed. That means I don't have to keep guessing. So a lot of T2 fertilizer for that one. And then some zeolite. And then I'll just head out to that area. Now the fuses are down there. I want to put one up here and see if it reaches. But how, yeah, I should be able to see it. Oh, damn it. I forgot the bacteria. And right there, put a tree in it. And then hop over here and 
have a look and see if that one yes it is reached so i can go quite far i can't remember the exact distance it's like i don't know 75 meters or something but that's cool we've got that one we'll drop in a few more and that is the last one so i can see that i am getting a boost on oxygen and plants so this this one is quite far out but it is being reached so i'm happy with that good now that's going to give us a huge increase in plants and oxygen especially oxygen yep unbelievably big increase good and we have broken one tti and we are 73 percent towards mammals but i should probably put up some more insect spreader rockets i mean the plants are not looking bad at all now they they're looking really good insects is lagging so rockets and i'm gonna take enough to launch three which means that i need nine bees which will not be a problem at all and we can fly out now do i have any other rockets yet i do have the animal spreader okay so i'm gonna need to get genetic traits yeah well i can do that that's that's cool t4 mutagen osmium rods genetic traits i don't have that many of them but i do have the facilities to make them so maybe i should anyway Insect spreader rockets are on their way somewhere, and we have boosted insects quite a bit. All right, let's work on those animal things. It sounds like one is very close. Where is that? Yeah, we might as well prepare for when uh, mammals are unlocked. So I have some genetic traits that I've picked up, but I don't really want to use them uh, for the rockets because I want to save, I want to get a whole bunch of them anyway. So first we have the genetic, is the genetic extractor machine? Yeah, Pulsar Solo Blazer, actually. Just pin the recipe. All right, I have everything that I need. So let's get in there. All right, genetic extractor I will put over here. And then I brought enough for the genetic synthesizer. So we'll put that over here as well. I don't know if I have them the right way around. All right, let's have a look. So I can take things that I found out in the wild and I can extract DNA from them. So let me start with the, it looks like butterflies. I am missing the colors. Let me grab a whole bunch of butterflies because I have spares that I'm probably not going to use. I need one of each for my, my display room. I wonder if the golden gives you anything. All right, let's try those out and see what happens. Ah, okay. So those ones don't give anything. And I have a whole bunch of genetic traits. Cool. And more. Good. And even more. That is fabulous all right well i'm gonna send up an animal rocket let me put these butterflies back all right so that, first of all let's see if we've got duplicates because i don't really want to send unique stuff okay that's a duplicate that's a duplicate these are all that's a duplicate this is variant five well we've got two variant fives um bioluminescence three probably going to use the bright and shiny ones so i don't need that means i need one more uh size five yeah huh. Definitely don't want to, definitely don't want to get rid of that. Um, variant, nope. get rid of the bioluminescence seven as well. Just need to check what else I need for that animal rocket. And that would be osmium rod and mutagen four with a rocket. A rocket and mutagen tier four. Good stuff. All right, so let's see how this is going to help us because we're now at 975 grams per second. Drop that in and fire it off. Fishies go to space. All right, off we go. It's quite an interesting rocket. You know, I don't know if I ever built animal rockets, if they were available before. And that has pushed us to 17,000. So there's a big jump. And if we have a look at our satellites, I got four insect spreader rockets. Oh, they do 1,500% each. That's cool. Three plant rockets. Wait a minute, it's not showing my animal rocket. Oh, I've got to scroll down. And that's 1,750. Ah, okay. The oxygen, heat, and pressure, they give you a 1,000% boost. The plant rocket gives you a 1250% boost. Insect rocket, 1500% boost. And the animal rocket, a 1750% increase. So that's very cool. Now that I know about that, I will be using more rockets. But now everything can be boosted with rockets. So that's very, very cool. Where does that put us? All right, we are close to getting the animal shelter and the animal feeder. They'll both come at the same time. Then we're just waiting for tier two animal food, which is fine. All right, then... Over here, we are waiting for Treju frog eggs, and we are on our way to getting the, the common lava unlocked. The next major thing over here, I reckon, is the last one, which is the tier 4 backpack. It's mainly just for fun at that stage. Maybe I'll throw a few more things through the genetic sequencer job. Uh, actually, you know what? I would like to maybe... Let's put some 
tier one food in there. I know it's going to cause problems with... Yeah, is it going to cause problems though? Yeah, it is. We don't have common lava, so yeah, no point. We need to be able to make common lava so that we can make the food. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the fish eggs. I've got a couple of Toulouse. I've got Goldens. I'm going to get a whole bunch of Provios. Actually, that's strange. Why am I not getting... That's probably because I haven't set them up. That's that that we haven't unlocked many of the fish eggs and also i don't have a lot of the life water collectors so yeah all right let's see what we can get out of these we definitely get something from the provios from the golden we get bioluminescence four nothing from the tulu i'm gonna put it in anyway but yeah we don't get anything from the tulu all right well that gives us more color options so that's like a color b where there's the same color a over there nice I suppose another thing that we could do is get some frog farms down. Now I've got these 500 animal multiplier frog eggs that I picked up in the in the portal areas. Let's see, what do we need for one of uh, these? That's very cheap. So we'll do two. Oh, mind you, I don't have any uncommon lava. I might need to go and look for some. Oh, and look at that. Just in time. Because I, I it's, it's getting very thin out there. I can't find any any lava so yeah all right well good let's set this one to make now what do i need to make it Ooh, that's gonna put a strain on the system badly but we need some so oh my word hang on it's just it's just grabbing them as soon as i ah i managed to catch one all right i've got two that can carry on doing its thing but this is definitely going to strain the system very much i'm gonna have to do something about that oh it's dark i'll wait till i'll wait till morning all right, well, it's getting light. I think I'm going to put the first two frog farms over by this lake. Or maybe down here. This looks nice. So one there, and we'll just put one over there. And now that I'm putting these in, these frogs will start appearing around the world. There you go. They are not pretty. They are really brown and have those dodgy red eyes. But they are going to give us some valuable animals. Don't you look at me like that. All right, off we go. There we go, that's another really good boost to the animals. That means we're probably going to be unlocking more stuff relatively soon. Okay, we'll get those frog eggs, we'll get a frog displayer, then the rare lava. That's the last major automated item that we need to finish, so we are doing really well. Well, other than the T2 animal food, but that'll come. And there's some frog eggs. With all of those increases, we are going to increase the terraformation quite rapidly. So we should get to that 1.25 very soon and we'll have animals 84 percent towards mammals good and i see the trees around our ecosystem have changed again with these nice blue ones be nice if it made up its mind and our little forest over there is looking super pretty most of what i need to do now is upscaling because now that we are doing the lavas there are going to be things that will be lacking oh hang on i will make that lack even more by going and putting the common lava in here because now i'll be able to set it to demand as you'll see there's no way to demand rare lava we can only unlock we can only demand common lava now because we've unlocked the ability to make it so now we can do that and with any luck we'll get some drones coming through and bringing uh if i set this to supply common lava yep the drones will come through and they'll put the common lava in there and there you go all done I think I'm going to need more drones because I have a feeling now that I have some super alloy being brought in from down the cliffs as a side effect of what I've been doing here. I um, wonder if maybe, maybe I shouldn't make the super alloy rods here, but then I'd have to take aluminium down there. Uh, what the heck? We'll just put more mines down there and get more drones. So yeah, we'll do that. And there's another 10. Good. 45 drones. Nice. And I have unlocked the ability to craft rare lava. All right, I'm going to set this to demand the tier one animal food. And I'm going to get a container of that so that when I start doing the T2 animal food, I've got a place to draw it from. Now, we have this machine. Can we make the DNA? Let's have a look. I'll just dra drag all of that and let's see. We'll do species three. Next one, top color. We'll go with that. Size five. B color, we've only got that one. I've got some of that. Bioluminescence. We'll get that one. And variant. Yeah, there's the variant. So the only thing I'm missing is the skin pattern color. Let's go and see if we can figure out what we need for the skin pattern color. Oh, we need fish eggs. Or certain fish eggs. 
No, sorry, frog eggs. Can I make the silliest frog egg yet? Let's see. I cannot. A mado? Alright, I am looking at doing that one. T3 mutagen, T2 fertilizer. And a generic frog egg. I need to find more of those. So, let's drop that in and do the research. Now, while that's happening, you don't need to have all of them. Only the top three are compulsory. These are not required, but I would rather have them filled out. At least then we'll have one animal that we can look after, and it'll be fully formed. And this one is done. Wait, what was that? That's not the one I asked for. That's the silliest that I couldn't make before. Okay, so it's sharing recipes. Uh, let's put it in here, and we'll see what we get. Yep, that's actually the one I wanted. Cool. And then we can drop it in here and synthesize and there we go creature dna oh just like that oh that's going to come in handy but not right now because i don't have anywhere to put it so i'll just stash it in my catch-all for now all right so let's have a look at our beehives yeah okay i thought that might be the case we're clogged up with bee lava now if i was depending on these for honey as well we wouldn't be getting any honey so food wouldn't be getting made that would be bad that's why i've left these ones i could set up an automated shredder to deal with the bees and honey overflows. Not going to worry about that now, maybe later. That's not too much of a problem. I'll do a bit of analyzing between episodes to see what's missing. I can see water is taking a little bit of strain. It's okay though, it's not empty. I'll keep an eye on whether it's going to stay full. Yep, we have a problem with algae. I'm going to need more algae generators and definitely more mushrooms. Yeah, and honey is dropping, so I'm most likely going to have to do something about that. Otherwise, I'll check up here. If these are looking empty, then I know that there's a problem with one of them. At the moment, they all seem they all seem okay. This one is not getting something. Let's see what it is. Okay, beans and honey is fine. It's the common lava that's the problem. And the common lava needs mutagen, which we know is fine. Phytoplankton and T2 fertilizer. T2 fertilizer is fine. So phytoplankton B is the problem. That means I need to put more life water collectors out. But as soon as I fix that, it will knock something else out of whack. So we'll just have to go through and keep an eye on things as we progress. But I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. I'm quite happy with how we've progressed so far. I'm also happy with the way things are looking. As you can see, these containers, if you clip them through each other, they don't take up very much space. So we could, if need be, put in more storages. We don't need to, I don't think. There isn't much more that we need. I'm probably going to need more extractors, uh, uraninite and super alloy. That means I'm going to need more drones. I'll probably build it up to about 100. But everything's looking good. We've got a really diverse forest over there. Lots of different trees. So it's all good. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. Let me know your thoughts on how I'm progressing and how I'm playing the game. And if you've got any tips that might help me or other people. But thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, cheers.